please join me in the prayer of illumination. Let us pray. O oh Lord, your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Give us grace to receive your truth in faith and love, and strength to follow on the path you set before us. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. This is a reading from Acts chapter 4, verses 5 through 13 and 18 through 20. The next day, the council of all the rulers and elders and teachers of religious law met in Jerusalem. Annas the high priest was there along with Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and other relatives of the high priest. They brought in two disciples and were demanded, By what power in, or in whose name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers and elders of our people, we are being questioned today because we have done a good deed for a crippled man. Do you want to know how he was healed? Let me clearly state to all of you and all of the people of Israel that he was healed by a powerful name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, the man you crucified but whom God raised from the dead. For Jesus is one referred to in the scriptures where it says, The stone that you built is rejected has now become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else. God has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. The members of the council were amazed when they saw the boldness of Peter and John. They could see that they were ordinary, man, ordinary men with no special training by the scriptures. They also recognized them as men who had been with Jesus. So they called the apostles back in and commanded them never to speak or teach, or teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John replied, Do you think God wants us to obey you rather than him? We cannot stop telling about everything we have seen and heard. A reading from Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. Make music to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of singing. With trumpets and the blast of the ram's horn, shout for joy before the Lord, the King. Let the sea resound and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, let the mountains sing together for joy. Let them sing before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples with equity. This, this is, is the, the word, word of the Lord. Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.